Well, you might be wondering why I'm giving this a kiss and a cuddle. Well, this is my Manfrotto 190 Go uh, tripod, and I absolutely blooming love this thing. I absolutely love it. Um, it's not too heavy. It's not very light. Um, it's all right, just throw in your backpack to go for a walk up a mountain or a, you know, hill. Last weekend I went up the Reekin and, well, have a look. Just a bit more review for my man Frotto. <laughs> and I was thinking, do you know what, it's really stable this tripod is. Let me show you where I'm standing. Hold on. Oh God, it's blazing. We've stood just here on this rock. Let's see how oil play up. Let me just show you this. It literally bounced. Uh, not a lot happened really. I literally stood it up, nice and straight on some rocks, right on the edge of a cliff. <laughs> and I was making some kind of mental notes in my mind, thinking, yeah, it's actually really sturdy, it's really, really steady. Now, I'll be quite happy to put my camera on top of this, you know, um, out in the field like that, you know, get some nice landscape shots. And then suddenly the wind took it and it blew over and it went. But it was stood there for about 10 minutes. So I don't understand why it happened, but it just disappeared. So I had to climb down the side of the cliff and oh, honestly, it was, it was hilarious looking back, but the time was pretty scary. But anyway, that's by the by. So anyway, um, I just wanted to do a review on this. Um, sturdy or what i mean this thing literally went about 30 feet maybe 40 down the side of a cliff sheer rocks and oh, I don't know if you can see that there look at that look at that you see that and some scuff marks on there as well well do you know what it's not the end of the world you know, it's, it's bound to happen. You know, you, you buy good equipment, so, you know, it lasts you. And, you know, this isn't damaged really, a few scuff marks. You'll probably get a few more, you know, over the next few years. But this thing is absolutely amazing. I'm not gonna harp on about it, uh, dropping it down the side of the cliff. Um, but you know what, apart from the little dinks, it's all right, actually. So let's have a, a little bit of a, a closer look, shall we? So here's the, uh, the well, this is the, the, the top part of the, uh, of the tripod um, you can see my little dink there oh that makes me so sad there's a proper little gash that is as well but you know what it took a big tumble um, there is a few little scuff marks a little bit further down here as well as you can see these I really like the uh, the way these uh, legs open up and close um, those little rubber bands there they really really make the tripod easy to extend the legs really quickly what I really like is it's got this 90 degree column which means that you can do this and you know kind of be able to spin your camera around uh, all different types of angles it means you don't get your leg your, your legs from your tripod into your footage um, if you you know doing an up and over shoot um, which is obviously quite common with you know uh, perhaps table photography or where you're doing food and what have you um, yeah so here's a good example about you know up and over kind of thing you can shoot over your subject nice and easily it's really really stable uh, apart from the fact it fell down the side of a cliff <laughs> but you know what um, that was my fault that was user error and I've learnt my lesson and I won't do that again what I really like about this though um, is there's um, the easy link adapter on the, uh, on the, on the side uh, around about the collar um, which is really really helpful because that means you can you know 
add on uh, friction arms uh, more easily. Uh, you know, it's a bit more adaptable for, for other uses. So the big question is, is would I actually recommend this to any other photographers? Yes, I would, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. It's light enough to carry around with you for, you know, an entire day's shoot. Not that heavy that, you know, it's going to break your back. Probably too heavy to take with you if you're a landscape photographer and you do a lot of walking. Maybe a little bit too, you know, uh, heavy for that. But for a day's use, it's perfectly fine. Great for in the studio. And like I said before, it's really robust and really, really, you know, sturdy. I'm really, really impressed with this thing. I'm really glad I forked out the money for it. But I've only had it about a month and I've already put this massive dink in it. Oh, stop going on about it. Stop going on about it. But yeah, yeah. Get yourself one today. Now, go, go buy it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Just to subscribe. Subscribe. Um, just click that button. Just click it. Just do it and get more videos like this. Because every time somebody subscribes, I want to do it again. And every time I want to do it again, my videos get a little bit better and you know, it kind of makes for better videos. So thanks for your support. Cheers guys.